I'm Amy Marsalis with a look back on an incredible week in Nashville. Music is the heart of every CRS, and this year was one of the best yet. From the first ever Opry at CRS. But this is country music. to lunchtime performances, to Friday night's New Faces show. I hope it rains on you. Maybe a little bit of lightning too. Lights on, turn your party lights on. Baby, get your shine on, shine on. But not all the big names at CRS 2013 came with guitars. As a doctor now, I think I'm better because I also add journalism to my career because I listen to my patients' stories more. CNN medical correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta reminded us of the power that comes with being communicators. There are stories within your community of people. I mean, just walking around here last night, everyone comes up to you and they have a story, uh, their own health story or the story of a loved one. And I think ultimately it's the stories that uh, are the most memorable and probably make the biggest impacts. I don't really work in radio. I work in the story business. Valerie Geller works with talent in all kinds of formats all over the world. She's not shy about putting the burden on the storytellers. Powerful Radio and all four of my books, Beyond Powerful Radio is the latest one, um, are based on very, very simple things. The first one is tell the truth. The second one is make it matter. And the third is never be boring. And if you do those three things, Amy, no matter what else you do, it will work. You'll connect with people. We asked media guru Fred Jacobs how radio can stay relevant in the face of the constant evolution of digital competitors. Well, country has just a huge advantage. Women really power country radio, and with that comes Facebook. So that kind of chitty chatty, personal touch, radio stations can really tap into that and create great relationships that digital competitors like Pandora or Spotify really can't do. So that kind of one-to-one -one relationship that country can form, especially with the female audience, is key. Of course, digital media is an important play for radio, too. Friday afternoon brought a social media watch and learn with DMR Interactive COO Andrew Curran. Well, I think you got to pick your battles. You got to manage your, you know, limited resources. And I would say that the, um, you know, each market and each, you know, uh, competitive situation is going to be a little bit different. But really, know what your audience expects, and you know, over deliver on a couple platforms versus under delivering on too many. The connection between country and the amazing work of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is decades old. So it's only natural for them to host a space at CRS where attendees can relax and recharge. As people love to kind of have a little retreat, somewhere they can go and they can jump online and, and check emails from home or Facebook and they can charge their phones. And there's, we've had people come in here and have meetings and it's great, they can have a cup of coffee, some complimentary pastries and it's just a nice place to unwind and then they kind of get a little taste of St. Jude and, and what we're all about, so it's a, it's a great place and we're happy to, to be the ones to provide that for them. Everyone's got their own special reason for coming to CRS. Some folks have been doing it for literally decades. So we've been coming since 2005 or so. Been coming for over 25 years. Well, at least 30. I won't admit to any more than that. And year after year for 21 years. Believe it or not, 36 years. This is our second year. Oh man, I've been coming here for as long as I can remember. And you never know who you're going to run into in the hallways here. And I can tell you firsthand, many of the pop artists or the rap artists or any other format, it's unheard of. The nicest people in the world are country people. The nicest people in the world. What other convention can you go to and, and, you, and you have people, stars, doing promos for your radio stations? We love the partnership with all the radio stations across the country just to, to learn things, to be around smart people, because uh, 
there's a lot of great ideas that come from here. We're a single owned station, so it was a lot of door knocking, networking, so to come here is sort of one-stop shopping for me. When you've been coming as many years as I have, it's it's like coming to a, a, a reunion. Uh, I keep coming back because uh, A, it is uh, probably the biggest country music convention in the world. I, by any stretch of the imagination. The thing that's really unique about it is this is a place where programming people come. In so many of our conventions, it's really where management and salespeople go. The learning experiences, uh, certainly the changing of the demographics in the business to stay in touch with the audience, and I think that's certainly critical this year's. I've made connections uh, that would have taken me years to make um, from home. With all the music, all the panelists, and the invaluable networking that took place over three days last week, what's left to say except mark your calendars now for CRS 2014. You might say CRB Executive Director Bill Main is already a little bit excited about what next year's seminar will bring. It's going to be amazing. And the sooner you register, the better, because it will be the lowest price possible. And uh, it always makes you enjoy the experience a little bit more uh, when you get a great deal on it. If we, we can, can make, make it, it, so can you. You, you got to love those accents. For CRS-TV, I'm Amy Marsalis. Thanks for watching.